this is Ryan Denson, also known as the Boston Beer Guy. I hope you're doing well and having an excellent Friday. I would like to welcome you to episode five of Frosty Boy Fridays, where we'll shotgun a Bud Light and then rate a craft beer. Um, I want to welcome on very special guest, Matt Coat, who is an assistant brewer over at Aeronaut. Matt, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So here to chill out, drink a couple of beers. Uh, of course. Uh, excellent. So I'm here at Somerville. Uh, we got an, a place opening up in Everett. I hope you guys have caught the news. I uh, just wanted to share that here and uh, let's get going. Awesome. Matt, uh, do you want to just give me a quick run through as what you do at Aeronaut before we jump in? Oh yeah, sure. So uh, here I am a seller person. I, I work as a brewery operator. So I take care of all the beer. I help people to brew the beer. Um, it's an everyday thing, five, six days a week. Awesome. All right. Well, let's get into it. Let's, uh, let's shock on our beer here and uh, get started. Sounds great. Awesome. Ooh, that's a frosty one. Right. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Cheers. Stay frosty. Ooh. You had to do a little bit of a double take, didn't you? <laughs> that's okay. I will, as you can, as you can see, this, this, um, you know, this live stuff gets a little messy. So awesome. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Exactly. Well, so let's start off by talking a little bit more about the glasses we'll be drinking out of today. Because as you know, my listeners know, we always talk about the glasses. So I'm drinking out of uh, Bissell Brothers, great brewery up in Portland, Maine. Um, you know, I, I made a trip up there, honestly, for the first time last year, and it was awesome. Got some Swish, uh, which is by far one of my favorite beers there. So um, happy to be drinking out of these guys. Matt, what are you doing? I uh, just want to say I love Bissell Brothers. Everything they do is amazing. Um, so yeah, right now I've got a 12 ounce, uh, one of our prototype glasses that we sir, uh, we're going to use as uh, part of our um, uh, launch air program. So we have a bottle club. Um, this was one of the prototypes. It did not pass muster, but I think it's a really awesome glass anyhow. Really nice and thin glass. Let's you taste the beer, get aroma overall. Awesome. Well, that's great that you guys are, you know, doing that uh, new launch air program. And it's unfortunate that, that that class didn't get through, but uh, we'll have a good beer out of it anyway. So, sure. um, so today we're going to be drinking Aeronauts Access Road. It is a New England style IPA. Um, Matt, is can you get this anywhere right now? I was looking on the website and it wasn't on tap at all right yet. So when you checked out, um, we were just packaging it. So right now we do have it on tap at the oh, great. tap room. Um, and we are distributing locally in Cambridge and Somerville, so they should have some access right available for you. Awesome. Well, uh, if you're uh, if you're watching this, go get yourself some access. But we're going to do our first pour and uh, talk a little shop about beer. Sounds great. Awesome. Well, this pour is an excellent golden uh, yellow. I mean, I love the smell from when you first crack it open. It just smells like a juicy New England IPA. Um, so let me, let me ask you this. I mean, obviously you work at Aeronaut and, um, you know, you're one of the brewers there. What's your favorite beer from Aeronaut? And, you know, all, on top of that as well, when you're brewing or working with these different uh, brewers, what sort of hops do you guys like to use? So um, personally, uh, I love, and we're just about to release another batch of our Robot Crush, our um, American Pilsner. Um, it's essentially a riff off of the Bohemian Pilsner. It okay. is hopped. So it, it has a little bit of bitterness to it, but it's like a nice, crisp, clean finish, uh, a crushable beer, hence the mm -hmm. name Robot Crush. Yeah. Uh, it, it did actually win an award in 2016 for Best uh, American Pilsner. So there's oh, that. that's awesome. Um, but yeah, so those sort of styles of beers, uh, a lot of German styles are some of my favorites. Uh, we also have mm -hmm. Surface Wave, our Pale Keller beer, incredible beer, nice, full body, malty, uh, leaves, leaves you feeling satisfied, you know. But um, a lot of the, the hops that we work with here, um, actually, two of which go into this beer, Citra oh, really? and Columbus. Um, the, you know, two uh, ad, uh, two varietals that are extremely pop popular in the uh, U.S. Um, yeah. Pretty much, you know, these melony, juicy, fruit forward hop styles. Um, we also use um, Galaxy in a lot of our mm -hmm. beers. Uh, I love Galaxy. Yeah. One of my favorite hops. Great, they kick ass. They're uh, you know straight from Australia. Uh, really, really popular with a lot of American brewing. Hmm. Interesting. So when you're not drinking Aeronaut beers or craft beers in general, what's sort of some, you know, really shitty crushable beers that you love? You know, what's your favorite brand? S straight up, uh, <clears throat> I would say two come to mind. Uh, if I'm going to drink a uh, beer I can get locally, 
I'm going to get Miller High Life. You know, it is. Of the course. Champion. It's a yeah. coffee. It satisfies. <laughs> you can drink five to six of them easy. It's basically like you're hydrating on a hot day. Uh, <laughs> not available locally. Uh, I'm going to drink Lone Star if I'm in Texas, straight up. Yeah. No, that's that's great. I've actually never had Lone Star, but Miller Miller Life is 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 a classic beer. I go with the Bud Light. I mean, I'm a big Bud Light guy, as you could tell from the shotgun. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's still a great beer. You know, it's, it's still in the tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, one of my questions I have for you is when you're brewing a beer or you're working on brewing a beer, do you keep label design in the back of your head? Because when I go into my local store and I see a cool beer like label like this, you know, I'm going to want to pick it up. It looks good. So when you guys are brewing, do you think about that at all? Does that come to mind? Yeah. So in the case of Access Road, this is one of four designs that we uh, worked with various artists, Adam O'Day being the one for this label. Um, you actually model lab labels uh, in the likeness of the beer, but also to be paired with, uh, specifically with Access Road, um, yeah. a, art, a local artist. Um, so we, we paired up with Coral Moons, um, a performer that we've had at the brewery, um, and we partnered this with their song Winnebago. And if, if you okay. look at the label, it does have a Winnebago yeah. on it. Um, so there's a lot of thought process that goes into uh, label design and pairing it to make it a full experience so that you're not just drinking mm -hmm. a beer that has nothing to do with the can art or label. You're, you're yeah. getting like a, a full sensorial thing going on, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have a favorite can that Aaron, um, you know, produces right now, like a favorite art right now? I am in love with the Citra Galaxy art. Uh, it's it's just yeah. great. Yeah. It's, it's so cool. Yeah. It's like a this bright, yeah. you know, so it's a really cool label. Yeah. Um, so besides Aeronaut, what sort of breweries are you are you loving now? I mean, what are some of the maybe the top two or three breweries that you're you know either wanting to go to or you're just you're finding locally and you're sipping or, or just even in general from Texas that that you want to you know, obviously shout out or, or talk about? Uh, I I can't leave out. I, I would be remiss if I did not mention my two uh, beloved breweries that I will always uh, uphold as some of the leaders in the industry for their creativity and their commitment to excellence. Uh, Allagash in Maine oh. are, they just make some of the best beer. Oh, yeah. they're, they're, their cool ship is like a temple. Um, you, you gotta love seeing just incredible quality come at yeah. such immense scale. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's a, something to behold, you know, it's, it's, yeah. if you have never been there, by the way, anybody watching this, please go to Allagash when you can safely. I don't know when that is. Yeah. You know? It might but, take uh, a few months for us to get to Allagash, but I definitely got to go back. Yeah. You got to get back. You got to yeah. get back. The longer trip is, it is indeed in Austin, Texas, Jester King. Every, okay. Everybody's probably heard about Jester King. Um, they are a mixed fermentation brewery that make world-class beer. You know, if you've had Cantillon, you should probably have Jester King. I get it. That's, I mean, that's great. I mean, I, I, I feel the same way. One of my favorite breweries that I've been really loving is, is Main Beer Company. Lunch, yeah. you know, um, all the different style beers that they're, that they're brewing is great. And, you know, last week we, uh, we tried Hill Farmstead. And again, you, you can't go oh, yeah. wrong with those two uh, beers. It, it's just incredible. So I guess my right. last question I have for you is, What's unique about working at Aeronaut and why Aeronaut? I mean, there's so many different breweries in Massachusetts. You know, what sort of specifically drew you to Aeronaut and what keeps you there? What keeps the greases flowing and, and you wanted to, to produce more beer? It's a great question. Uh, so Aeronaut is a really incredible community. Um, we are not just a brewery, but also a, a space for events, for food. Uh, historically, we've had a number of different uh, businesses operating out of or, uh, Aeronaut, including a coffee roaster, a chocolatier. Currently, we have a Venezuelan food vendor, uh, Las Carolinas, a wonderful so winner. Great. So, so good. good. Right? What's so your favorite that they that they produce? What's your favorite one? Uh, the Pabellon Bowl is just so good. Oh, with like yeah. Bean, black beans. It's just so stinking good. Yeah. You just, you just have to love a place that represents itself more as a, uh, a collective of different efforts rather than just, you know, we brew beer for profit. Um, it's, it's more like we're trying to take the revenue and the space that we have in the community and mobilize it for good. You know, yeah. we're, back when the tap room was open, we'd have events here all the time. Um, I remember. You know, yeah, you know, it's like, it's every community is invited here. We had Skip the Small Talk, which still is going on in, uh, I 
I believe, remotely. Um, we, we've had every event under the sun. So that's the really cool thing is like we have really amazing people that work here, really amazing events. Mm -hmm. it's, nice. it's a nice place to be. That's incredible. I mean, I've again, I live in Somerville, so I come by, you know, pretty often and I just love the space, the outdoors, the, you know, what you guys have done with the wall out there. It's just like incredible. And the, you know, all the different paint, it just, it's such a very inclusive and open space, which is awesome. And, you know, what you guys have done in terms of social media has been great as well. Um, is there any specific brewery in the, in the greater Boston, I mean, Massachusetts area that you'd want to see Aeronaut collab with? If you guys do collabs, I'm not hundred percent sure if you guys do that, but if you were to personally collab, you mean, is what specific brewery would that be? So yeah, we, we've had several collaborations, uh, all of which have been super successful as far out as I believe Finback in mm -hmm. Europe. Um, and, and we still brew that beer to this day in probability drive. Um, yeah. I'd love to see us work, uh, with honest weight, honestly, I've been, uh, you know, we've served their beer, um, uh, or shilling. That'd be another one too. Oh, um, shilling was great. It'd be super cool to see that. Yeah. Because everybody that would be a great collaboration. Their bloggers. Yeah. I yeah. Would love to see that. Um, so yeah, one of those two, because I think honest weight would be the more like wild, like we, we could do some sort of sour or mixed fermentation, whereas shilling mm -hmm. would be a nice clean lager that we could collaborate on. Yeah, no, that's great. I mean, I think this, you know, the understanding and the collaborations, you know, I've done, you know, the, the, um, the lamp later vitamin C, you know, that was a great collaboration they had. And just honestly, what, um, you know, what like White Lion has done with their Black is Beautiful series is just also incredible. And the awareness that these breweries are trying to bring out about all these different, you know, situations that are going on in our life right now. And it's just, it, it's such a good way to bring together, you know, um, when uh, the All In This Together um, was came out as well. I mean, it, it's just bringing yeah. the communities together is just incredible. And I love all the breweries, especially Aaron Off for doing it for sure. Hell yeah. And we brewed uh, Black is Beautiful and All Together. Um, and I just want to say personally, uh, Black Lives Matter and tra trans rights are human rights. Of course. So um, let's talk a little bit about this beer. So obviously Access Road, it's a 6.9 ABV right now. Um, on Untapped is actually rated at 3.94. Um, so I usually uh, go and, and kind of rate a beer here. So um, Matt, yeah. you're our guest. So why don't you give it a rating between one and 10? And don't be biased because I know you work there. Right. Yeah. I'd, I would never have any sort of influence from my uh, you would never rating. give it a 10, would you? Oh, no. oh, that would be unseemly. I'd have to give it a 9.5. No, I, I honestly, within the scale of our uh, New England IPAs, I love Access Road for its drinkability. It's just so, you know, it's melony, it's soft, it's easy drinking, it's a perfect end of yeah. summer beer. For me, it's a solid 8 out of 10. Okay. I like that. A little bit of a, a rookie score. I like to do a little bit of a decimal um, to kind of get it in. But I mean, I think it's great. I mean, I've had a lot of New England IPAs and that's just kind of what my vibe is. I love drinking crushable New England IPAs. This is something where I'm probably going to finish the rest of the four pack probably after this because it's so good. Um, I'm going to give this an 8.7 out of 10. I just think it's an absolutely delicious beer. I, I definitely, you know, I'm going to come back and try to grab it as much as possible. Um, so for everyone out there, again, um, Aeronaut is over in Somerville and going to be in Everett soon, as yep. you mentioned. When is that going to happen? So uh, keep your ears and eyes open. Um, right now, we're actually, um, I think I'm, you know, uh, authorized to say this, we are currently brewing there. So okay. uh, we are producing beer uh, in much larger batches than we have in Somerville. Super excited mm -hmm. about that. Um, so the tap room is a little bit of a different situation, obviously, given the things going on right now. Um, but I would, we're hoping to open within the year, but I would say give it next six to eight months. You know, any, any, um, any insight as to where locally it is going to be in Everett? Is it going to be by night shift or is it going to be where like Mystic was or around the bone up area? It is indeed in the exact spot where down the road was. Oh, okay. Uh, that's, yeah. that's actually pretty accessible too. So that's yeah. great. Awesome. Again, congratulations to you guys, but um, for everyone out there, again, Aeronaut is open. Um, what are your guys' hours? Uh, so tap room right now is uh, five to 11. Uh, okay. I, I think that's generally every day. Um, yeah. Maybe a little bit later on the weekends. Yeah. 
Awesome. Well, uh, you know, obviously everyone's got to go check them out, go get the food. You obviously uh, want to check out the food because it's incredible there. The beers are incredible. Everyone there is awesome. And Matt, again, thank you so much for joining. Um, I hope to have you on down the line when we do another maybe exclusive beer. And uh, I definitely will see you when uh, I come back for the next uh, pint I'm going to get. All right. Cheers, man. Awesome. Cheers, man. Appreciate it.